After more than two years since its original release, Apple has finally released a new version of its 24-inch iMac. 2021 saw a significant redesign of the iMac. The bulbous silver aluminum body was removed and replaced with a vibrant exterior, coordinated accessories, and a whimsical overall appearance. Additionally, it was powered by the recently announced M1 chip. A few years later, the M2 chip appeared and vanished without being included in an iMac. Now that the M3 has been released, Apple has at last given us a new iMac, but what's new? This new iMac has one noteworthy upgrade, and that is the chip. The M1, which was present in the new 14-inch MacBook Pro, has been replaced by the M3, which is anticipated to appear in other devices, most notably the MacBook Air, at some point in 2024. For a lot of users, the M1 was and remains a remarkable chip. It accelerated Apple's transition away from Intel and made it possible for extremely thin devices, many of which lacked fans, like the 24-inch iMac. When we reviewed the iMac, we gave the M1 chip high marks for handling both routine and occasionally demanding tasks. We can't yet share our results because we haven't reviewed or benchmarked the iMac with an M3 chip, but Apple has pointed out a number of improvements for this chip. Apple claims that the M3 iMac is twice as fast as the M1 model, 2.5 times faster than the most popular 27-inch Intel-based iMac that was discontinued, and 4 times faster than the most popular 21-inch Intel-based iMac. All of these figures are impressive, but it appears that Apple is aiming this device more at people who are holding on to Intel iMacs than at those who purchased the M1 model. The M3 version's GPU is either 8 or 10 core, which is a slight improvement over the M1 version's standard 7 core GPU. Additionally, the maximum RAM is 24 gigs, up from 18 gigs. Of course, having twice the performance of the M1 is a significant improvement, but it's difficult to determine the actual benefits until we see how it functions in practical applications. This updated iMac supports a number of new connectivity options thanks to the addition of the M3 chip. For example, the M3 models support the more recent Wi-Fi 6E standard, whereas the iMac M1 only supported Wi-Fi standards up to Wi-Fi 6. Anyone who owns or intends to purchase a router that supports 6E will find this to be very beneficial. Additionally, M3 machines have Bluetooth 5.3, which is an upgrade from Bluetooth 5.0 on M1 machines. If not good reasons to upgrade, both of these are nice to have features. Prior to its release, there were a lot of rumors claiming that the new iMac would be available in a wider variety of colors. However, this is untrue. The same colors, blue, pink, orange, yellow, green, silver, and purple, that were offered when the M1 model first debuted, are still accessible here. The available colors will vary depending on the model selected, since the base model is limited to blue, green, pink, and silver. The screen still has a 24.5-inch 4.5K IPS panel with True Tone, P3 color support, and a white bezel. Both the 1080p webcam and the port selection are still the same. Except for the chip inside and some of the additional advantages it unlocks, the iMac M3 is essentially the same as the previous M1 model. Prior to the launch, there was also a lot of buzz about Apple replacing all of the lightning accessories, the Magic Mouse, Magic Keyboard, and Magic Trackpad, with USB-C models. This never happened, and a lightning cable is still required to charge the included accessories. It's unfortunate that this didn't happen because it would have made sense given that Apple removed lightning ports from its iPhone 15 series and the most recent AirPods Pro update. Retail pricing for the iMac M3 in its base configuration is $1,299. This indicates that while it has increased by £150 in the UK, it still has the same starting price in the States. What do you think about the new generation iMac, is it worth upgrading, write your opinion in the comments below, have a nice day and God bless you.